Hello, Bio 30. I am going to go through and I am going to solve a couple questions. Some of these were in the example video that you saw. I'm just going to re go through them and talk through a few extra pieces. And then I'm going to go through one of the harder questions from the practice set to just kind of talk to you how it is different than the other ones. So, what I hear here is question one from the population density formula. So, population density is all about the density of the population of the animals. Okay, so we're looking at the number of animals or total, which is N, over the area that they are in. So when we're looking at the question here, what you always want to do is you want to take out any information that is not needed. I'm going to cross that out. I don't need it because it's asking me for population density. Population density is the number of animals over the total area, which I have here. So I'm going to write out my 80,000, oops, sorry guys, 80,000 geese over my 50 hectares geese. I want to make sure you know what you're using here. So I think hectares is HA, I think. I can't remember. I think that's hectares. I can't remember off the top of my head. And when I do the math, 80,000 divided by 50 gives me 1,600 geese per hectare. Okay, so that's a population density, just looking at how many individuals are found in a specific area um, that we are analyzing. Time frame, years, nothing like that comes into play. Okay, so that is what it looks like. The other part to this is now the population growth rate. So now we know how dense an area is. Now we want to know is this population growing or shrinking? So what you have here is in 1993, the house mouse population in the backyard was 50 mice per acre. After three years, various control measures had been put in place and the population dropped to 10 mice per acre. Calculate the rate of density change. Okay, so what we want to look here is we want to figure out how much is the population changing by. So essentially the growth rate formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to take in our growth rate, which is GR is equal to the change in the individuals. So how much the individuals change over the years, okay? And we are going to divide it by the change in time. Now what it shows here is there's 58 mice per acre and then there's 10. But in this formula, we wanna do the rate of change always by um, the final to the initial, okay? So, we're going the newest time frame first. So I have 10 mice here, minus 50 mice here, okay? And it's showing what amount of time frame is that? Well, it was in a three year time span. So I could have gone 1996 minus 1993 because it started in 1993, but I'm gonna just go three years. Um, I'm going to then do my calculations and I am going to figure out that 10 minus 50 divided by 3 is minus 113.3 mice per year. So that's how much the population changed every year for three years. All right. So that is the growth rate in a positive or negative. It can go up or it can go down. Now, in your practice problems, starting with the population ecology practice, I want you to go to the question number 12. Question number 12 is a kind of a confusing question because it asks for the rate, right here, rate of change in a population. Now, rate of change is not anything we've learned. We've learned population density. We've learned growth rate, and then you guys also looked at per capita growth rate, which I'm not doing an example of. If you need to rewatch the examples done in the videos, please do so. However, rate of change is a little bit different than the other ones we have talked about. Rate of change, which I'm going to write here, rate of change is all about the population density, okay? Um, and how it changes over an amount of time. So that is what is happening here, is density divided by time. We don't have a formula for this, but we do have two formulas that can be combined 
to do this. We have the density rate, which is N over T, I'm uh, sorry, N over area, sorry, density. And then we have growth rate, which is the animals over time. So when you're looking at a rate of change question, you're going to be doing a couple steps within that rate of change. So in this one, it says a team of biologists are tracking a population of a wolf population in the Canadian Rockies. They counted 56 wolves in 10, kilometers, 10 km squared kilometers in an area from this time frame. 78 wolves were in 15.5 uh, kilometers squared in 1996. So calculate the rate of change. Well, what the problem is in this question, you will notice, is this area right here and this area are actually not the same. So I actually can't figure out directly how many wolves are in that area by using what I would normally use as my growth rate because it's a bigger area. So I'm going to actually do this question in two pieces. I'm going to start off by finding the density population of the first set of wolves by taking 56 wolves and I'm going to divide it by 10 kilometers squared. And the reason I'm doing that is because it breaks it down into the same units. How many wolves per one kilometer squared? If I take the density of the population of the second set of wolves, which is uh, 78 wolves, I believe, in 15.5 squared kilometers, Again, when I divide that out, I get 5.0 wolves per kilometer squared. So what I have here now is the same units. I now can compare these. I know the population density at the beginning was this much in a squared area. I know the population density later on was this much in a squared area. But what I asked you to do was calculate the rate of the change of the population, which is density divided by time, okay? I have two densities. So we have to do the change in the population over the change in time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take those two populations and I'm gonna put them into this formula, which essentially says that I'm going to take my this minus this, these are my wolves, because that's my density, my population of my animals. And then I'm going to, and it's in kilometers squared, can't forget that, I already figured this out. And then I'm going to put it over how many years have passed. So from 85 to 96, we're looking at 11 years. So when I do that, this minus this divided by 11, meaning means zero. 0.5 wolves per kilometer per year. Oops, this should be kilometer squared. So this is a rate of change in a population. It is showing the change of the amount of wolves in an area at that specific time, or the amount of density divided by the time. Okay, so that is the answer right here. So the square kilometers got bigger and the growth of the wolves was not high enough, so we're actually losing half a wolf every kilometer squared per year. You're not actually losing half a wolf, but just the way the math works out, that's essentially what you would see within the population as a rate of change over time, okay? So that's examples of how to do all uh, two of those, and if you come across something that says rate of change, make sure you're using this idea, density over time, and if you have any questions, please let me know.